Let's get right to those breaking updates. A tragic discovery here in Rochester following that huge fire we've been covering since early this morning. Moments ago, we learned from investigators a woman in her 70s was killed as the flames ripped through a home full of apartments on Hancock Street. Several others living there now displaced. The scene is on the southwest side of the city with Alex Love joining us live from there now. Alex. It's a, it's a big tragedy, Br Brendan. Not everybody made it out alive. This is what authorities and all these neighbors feared. Now, I'm standing at the scene right now. The flames have been put out, but police still have this portion of West Avenue by the Hancock Street intersection blocked off. Now, uh, now they are actually getting ready to demolish the house you may be able to, to see since no one else is trapped inside. The fire broke out just after 4 a.m., but during that time, Rochester police were also called to the apartment home for reports of a domestic dispute happening at the same time. Investigators have not linked the two calls together or said if those involved in it started the fire, but flames seem to be spread from the lower level, trapping the victim on the third floor. As of now, no one is in custody, but police are conducting Conducting interviews with fire with firefighter investigators trying to piece together how this fire started. In the meantime, several people are left homeless and are relying on Red Cross and neighbors to find warmth and shelter. Once we got outside and we turned around, um, there's just a lot of smoke coming from the third floor at first, and then you see the blaze coming from the third floor, and then you see the older lady up there screaming for help, but none of us could get up there to help her. Major Crimes Unit, along with the Arson Task Force, are conducting the investigation. We are in the process of de determining what connection the initial domestic call had to the building ultimately catching on fire. Uh, there are no suspects in custody at this time. One firefighter also sustained minor injuries from responding to this call, but was treated and released from the hospital. Two other neighbors were also injured, but again, they were also able to be treated at the scene and the hospital and are recovering, according to authorities. All right. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thank you. Of course, we'll be trying to get some more uh, information on the victim who was killed, that woman in her 70s. Watch for updates online at rochesterfirst.com.